Reba's Breakfast Club. Your life, your stories. This is BBC Radio Oxford. Oxford, the birthplace of the gentlemanly Oxford shoe and shirt. <laughs> But uh, according to a recent survey, the city does more than help men dress the right way. Uh, this survey says that uh, we're the city in, the, in this country with the most gentlemen, we're very gentlemanly in this part of the world. Grant uh, Harold is a former royal butler, a member of the royal household of the Prince of Wales. He's known as the defender of etiquette and has been teaching etiquette for the past 20 years. Very good morning to you, sir. Is that c- the correct way good to morning. dress a gentleman, Grant? Oh, beautifully done. Fantastic. 10 out of 10. Thank you. <laughs> The idea of being a gentleman in 2017, I like it. I'm a bit old-fashioned. It it was the way I was dragged up to open a door and stand up and give a a, a lady a chair on the tube or whatever it might be on the train. But implicit in this idea of being a gentleman is is the idea of sexism as well, I think, and inequality. That's the problem, isn't it? it, You know, times are different. And I've noticed that through my social media. A lot of people will... I'll put the kind of traditions up of saying, you know, remember, gentlemen, that when a lady gets on the bus, you... Um, obviously um, stand or, or give, give your seat, where a lot of people will say, well, what about, the, what about the men or what about other people? And they're quite right because, I mean, we live in the 21st century and I think a gentleman today, it's, it's kind of had to change where a gentleman should actually give his chair, obviously for somebody disabled or I still think traditionally for a lady, a pregnant person, uh, somebody that's maybe got um, young children. There's all sorts of reasons why you might want to, um, to give up your, your, your chair these days, not just for the traditional, the old-fashioned way. It's the curious, isn't it? Role. Because if you're sitting in a crowded train carriage and there's no seats and a lady gets on, a woman gets yeah. on and she's standing in front of you and she's uh, maybe looks the same age as you and the same health and height and all the rest of it. Mm-hmm. If you were to, if I was to get up and say, would you like my seat? You almost wouldn't do that anymore, would you? Because the idea well, that you need this seat more than I do because you're a woman... That just uh, seems wrong. Well, you hear, you say, I've had some horror stories where ladies have actually been offended because somebody yes. has done that. Now, I can understand why, because, again, it's the modern era. Um, but at the same time, I did it for Sunday a few weeks ago in London. I saw a lady got onto the, the, the train and, and I, I could see that she was, she was struggling and I offered my chair and she declined. But she said, thank you so much. Um, it was wonderful that you offered, they offered it to me. And I thought, do you know what that shows? That, that people do still appreciate it and it's still a nice thing to, to offer it and if you do get it declined or somebody hopefully you hope they're not going to be rude to you and, and make a, an issue of it but if they do dis- decline that that's up to them at least you've, you've done the decent thing as a gentleman should do what makes a gentleman briefly grant for me it's that old uh, terrible old cliche that manners make it for man i think it's true manners for me it are right true. at the top there and everything it's true and and i think that's the, the, the reality is it's you know bring back manners you know we've kind of lost them a little bit and i'm I'm hoping, that, yeah, I'm hoping that I'm even, I've even um, done a book recently about it, and I'm hoping to try to encourage the next generation to, you know, bring manners and etiquette because obviously they go hand in hand. Bring them back to, to a new generation. Let's not forget them. Let, let's reinforce them. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. Thank you very much, Grant. Good to talk to you this Thank morning. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's a uh, former Raw Butler, Raw Household, Grant Harold, perfect English gentleman, actually perfect Scottish gentleman.